Hello and welcome to Government with Dr. Turner. Today we're going to talk about America's political culture. We will discuss some of the values that most Americans share. We will also take a look at the political debates that are dividing us in politics today. Political culture can be defined as a broad pattern of ideas, beliefs, and values concerning the relationship between individuals and their government. It can affect everything that happens within a particular political system. You can think of political culture as the general political orientation of a nation. A political culture is made up of values. Values are ideals or principles that most people agree are important. However, we may not always think through them in detail or agree on exactly what their implications are. Values are normative statements about how the world ought to be, so they can be something we aspire to even though we know that they are not true today. Political culture is handed down from generation to generation, but sometimes when the country becomes politically polarized, we may lose our common language. Before we look at some of the values we share, I would like to talk about what we could call the American perspective, how Americans tend to view their world that differs from what you might find in other countries. One part of the American perspective is that we tend to focus on procedural guarantees. Our expectations of government focus on rules and processes rather than results. We believe government should guarantee fair processes rather than specific outcomes. We assume that if the rules are fair, the outcomes will be good. Americans also value individualism, the importance of the individual citizen. Individuals are seen as responsible for their own well-being. We assume what is good for society will automatically follow when individuals choose what is good for themselves. Collective interest is normally only invoked in war or national crisis. Your textbook authors highlight three core American values, democracy, freedom, and equality. American democracy means representative democracy based on consent and majority rule. Every individual is heard and all interests are considered. We believe that democracy is the appropriate procedure for making public decisions, but not private ones. The American ideal of freedom means freedom from restraint. It's not an open freedom to do anything you want, but rather that you are free from any restraint by the state. There should be no unfair restrictions on your pursuit of what you want, but there is also no guarantee of help in achieving those things. We also value freedom to participate in the marketplace. We should be free to make any economic choices we want. Government should protect our property, not take it away, or regulate it too heavily. Sometimes our ideas of economic freedom are in opposition to the best interests of the country. For example, society would be better off if we paid down the national debt. But individual economic freedom means we have low tax rates. When Americans support the idea of equality, most are expecting individuals to be treated the same. Government should guarantee equality of treatment, access, and opportunity, not equality of result. When the rules treat people differently, even if the goal is to make them more equal in the long run, many Americans get upset. Now let's turn to some of the ideas that divide us. An ideology is a set of beliefs about politics and society that helps people make sense of their world. Two main ideological camps in the United States are the liberals and the conservatives. Liberals are referred to as the left and conservatives are referred to as the right. Generally speaking, Democrats are more liberal and Republicans are more conservative. 
Of course, reality is a little more complicated than that. There are really two scales interacting with each other. The real question comes down to how much you want government to be involved in a particular area. Specifically, do you want more or less government involvement in the economy? And do you want more or less government involvement in social issues? More government involvement in the economy might look like a higher minimum wage, higher taxes for billionaires, more control over corporations, free health care for all, minimum basic income, etc. Your textbook refers to this quadrant as economic liberals, and many Democrats would find this position appealing. Less government involvement in the economy might look like no minimum wage, lower taxes for the wealthy, fewer regulations for business, etc. Your textbook refers to this as economic conservatives, and you might find many Republicans here. But you can also measure government involvement in social issues. More government involvement in social issues might mean stricter drug laws, restrictions on abortion, and traditional gender roles. Less government involvement in social issues might take the form of drug decriminalization, pro-choice positions, and support for LGBTQ issues. I have found it usually works well to classify ideological positions as follows. Republicans desire low government involvement in the economy with high government involvement in social issues. Democrats prefer high government involvement in the economy with low government involvement in social issues. Libertarians would prefer to have low government involvement in both realms. Populists would like to see high government involvement in both realms. And there's not too many of these around right now, but there were a lot about 120 years ago. So let's review. Political culture can be defined as a broad pattern of ideas, beliefs, and values concerning the relationship between individuals and their government. The American perspective focuses on procedural guarantees and values individualism. Most Americans share the values of democracy, freedom, and equality. America is politically divided today between liberals and conservatives.